I'm uh, Jeff from the S2K channel, well, guest hosting, and we have our guest today is Stuart Chaffet. And, yeah, I'm, I'm not really good at this, so you guys got to give me a minute here. Uh, we have Charlie and uh, hey. Ben with us. So we're going to ask him some questions, and uh, Charlie, would you like to go first, since you probably have the better questions? I do, do I? Oh, well, thank you. You probably um, do. Well, it's it's a pleasure finally getting to talk to you, Mr. Uh, Shepherd. Um, it's been a long time coming. Um, yes. Yeah, well, where do we begin? I mean, um, your show has been a huge influence over the history, even over here on the Internet, um, on the last few years uh, being through YouTube and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, are you still involved with the with the production of TV shows and stuff like that? Uh, yes, doing TV shows, not really doing too much on computers and technology right now. I, I, you know, I did that show for 20 years, and I got, I think that was enough. So <laughs> I've taken a bit of a break from that. And, you know, when I, I stopped in uh, 2003, I guess it was, things had gotten a little boring, actually. And it was also the period of the, the dot-com bust when you know, it was getting a little bit tougher to get money to do these kinds of things. So I moved over to doing different kinds of stuff. So I, I still do... Television, but uh, not not that much technology now. See, the so beauty of your show, I've, I've found the beauty of your show is it's because you're always talking about what the most current thing is in computing. You've always exactly. got fresh material to work with, you know. Oh, yeah, that was, that was always fun seeing stuff before everybody else saw it. Was that your um, point? Oh. Go ahead. That's, that's to start off with. I mean, yeah, this okay. is more. Um, are, you, are you still involved with computers at all? Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, you know, once you're a junkie, you're a junkie. So, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I, I, I play with computers all the time, sure. And, you know, nowadays, I mean, not, you know, any sort of digital personal devices. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a gadget junkie, sure. <laughs> what other hobbies are you into? Like, uh, am you a big fan of music or...? A uh, me- medium fan of music, not a not a crazy fan of music, but uh, yeah, spend time with music. But yeah, I like I like I like gadgets and technology and toys, electronic toys. If it, if it takes a battery, I'm happy. <laughs> Shall I keep going, guys, or anyone want, want to come in here? Yes, or? I'll. I guess I got something. I was just wanting to know how did you guys start Computer Chronicles? Like I've tried to look it up on Wikipedia, I can't figure it out. I mean, how did it start? Well, it's a really, really interesting question. It was really a, a grassroots movement. What started, uh, you guys may not be old enough to remember, but back in the early 1980s when personal computers first came out and you had, the, you know, the first Apple II and the Tandy TRS-80 and all that stuff, there was no support system. There were no magazines. There were no TV shows. There was nothing. Right. What there was was users group meetings. And that's how every, you know, guys would get together once a week and say, oh, I figured out how to do this, and I found this thing, and I got this hack, and so on and so forth. And I got the, I was living here in the in the Bay Area, in the San Francisco area at the time, and I got the idea to, and I was running a television station at the time, of actually televising live a weekly users group meeting, so that instead of 30 guys in a room sharing this stuff, you could have thousands of people sharing this information. So it started as a little local TV show in which a bunch of hackers would get together and come to the studio and talk about all the new things they'd figured out over the past week. And even back in the early 80s, it was pre-internet, but you still had bulletin board systems going. And the guys on the BBS started talking to each other. And I started getting, uh, actually the TV stations started getting phone calls from other TV stations around the country we were getting phone calls from gadget geeks in their community saying, we hear there's this damn show on the air. We want to watch it. We want to go to this meeting, too. <laughs> and uh, we figured, well, guys, this is a good idea. So we went out looking for some money and found some uh, some sponsorship money and turned it from a local show into a national show. And literally, by just answering the phone, we never tried to sell it. It you know, was on in like 35 cities to begin with, and it ended up in over 200 cities in the United States and over a hundred wow. countries around the world. Awesome. Yeah, it really was. Let's see. It was really it was really driven by people just saying, "This is cool. I can't get this anywhere else." Well, yeah, I, I, I'm 20, so by the time I watched your show, it was 98. I think I really started watching. I've always I've been in a computer since I was about five. I've, yeah, I've yeah. Been Commodore 64. 
Oh yeah. I, I still ha I still have a couple of Commodore Amiga computers. I have one. I have an Amiga four thousand. Yeah. Hang around. But yeah. Yeah, I, ha I have so much old stuff. I don't, I can open up my own museum. I don't know what to do with it all. I got really old video game consoles and old PCs and old computers. So do we. We're all collectors here, except for yeah. I know. See, uh, every time I would upgrade a computer, I'd always pull the old one apart. And, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, in fact, I have I have here some my, one of my favorites. Is the original laptop computer, uh, which was which was the uh, HP Portable from the 1980s, sometime. And I, I was the first guy that ever used a laptop on an airplane. People would walk by and say, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> and it was a it was a great little machine. It had uh, it, it had no hard drive. It had all the software in ROM, and so it was fast as could be. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was working on airplanes before anybody ever thought about this, and I still have it, and it works. Wow. The HP port, and, the last time it's, like that. and it's sold, I think, you know, it was, you know, a tiny processor, tiny memory. I think at the time it sold for like $5,000. I was just amazed. I looked back in the 80s and how expensive these computers were and how people were just able to afford them. I mean, sometimes... It was expensive. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, think. It's, I mean, compared to today, I can get a laptop for, you know, good oh, dollars But keep in mind, at the time, I mean, it was such a revolutionary tool... And, you know, especially when considering the software, I mean, when you had things like spreadsheets, these computers were worth their weight in gold because you could do things so much more efficiently. Yeah. I mean, it was a large degree. It was really spreadsheets, uh, you know, in the old uh, uh, VisiCalc that really pushed computers because it was a fantastic software application that nobody had ever been able to even imagine before. I still have the original VisiCalc software from the Apple II. Wow. Wow. The, the very first spreadsheet. It's amazing how far we've come. Oh, it really is. Yeah, I, I think, I know, I, I sort of mess around on the computer now, and, you know, you're watching video and audio and all this stuff, and I think, wow, I mean, I remember, I remember when I first went online with my TRS-80 computer at 300 baud, and you could watch the letters form one letter at a time. Yeah, yeah. And now we're watching Well, that movies. brings me... That brings me to the next question, you know, with the uh, new iPhone release. Do you think it was the uh, the biggest thing we, uh, we've had in the way of uh, next step up in technology since the Macintosh came out back in 94? Well, I must admit I just finally bought my iPhone 3GS. Uh, I've, I've never, it's a long story, but I've, I've had my quarrels with Apple and Steve Jobs over the years. So I very reluctantly move into Apple products. But I must say the iPhone is one of the slickest gadgets I've ever seen in my life. It's quite fantastic. Do you, you know, think it's summed up um, where we've moved in the direction of computing in the last five years or so, since like 2004? Well, it does in the sense, I mean, as, yeah, you make a good point. I mean, it's not really a phone. It's a, it's a portable wireless computer, and you happen to be able to make phone calls on it. Uh, yeah. But I find in the way I use it, uh, I mean, the phone is just so, almost sort of one minor aspect of it. It, it is, I mean, the, the software execution on that iPhone is just brilliant. It really is. I mean, I've, I've you know, I've been, you know, obviously a cell phone user forever and, uh, you know, constantly looking for the latest, best gadget. And I've looked at every single phone out there. And the, uh, you know, the, the way the, the iPhone works is just is really superior. I think it is, it is cutting edge. I mean, if they, the only thing I really... Maybe it's out there. I don't know yet. I mean, I would like to see a physical keyboard peripheral on it to solve the problems of the on-screen keyboard if you really want to do, you know, a lot of data entry. But uh, other than that, the way the thing works and the App Store and all that, I mean, it's just incredible. Matter of fact, I was I was traveling a couple of days ago, and I'm a big baseball fan, and I was just dying to watch this one baseball game, and it wasn't on TV, and I couldn't get it anywhere, and I just bought the MLB app on the iPhone, I was watching the damn baseball game on the iPhone. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, you, can, yeah. you can do anything. It's amazing. Mm. Yeah. And the way it handles email is fantastic. I mean, it's... I, I've had... Before the iPhone, I had a Palm Trio. Yes. Uh, which, yes. you know, which was pretty state-of-the-art when it first came out. But, I mean, iPhone kind of leaves it in the dust, really. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I had a, I, or a, a Palm Trio... 750 a couple years yep. ago, and that just really blew me away. Uh, yep. Just seeing the iPhone just a couple days ago, 